But I think it's time right now that we go uh, hook up with uh, Manny Vega, the individual you saw in the beginning who was attacked in Washington, D.C. In fact, let's show a little bit more of that footage. Then we, when we come back, we'll have Manny uh, live with us here. A peaceful conversation with a gentleman, okay? okay? And I've had people come up to me to say, I'm sorry, Yo, we're not boss, like this. Started. Like this. He's saying, Yo, I'm, boss, he look, started. Look. Uh, every time I look at that footage, I'm, I'm amazed. Hey, Manny, you are a United States Marine. How did you not get in a fight with one of those guys? What, what kind of control did you have on that day, man? Yeah, let me tell you something. People have been asking me, how could you have stayed calm, you know, in, in the lion's den? And I told a gentleman yesterday, you know, for me, I'm equally surprised as everyone is. You know, it's not punching. It's not the kicking. Okay. It's a spit in the face. All right. I don't know how I, I was able to control myself, but divine intervention is the only thing because if, if that had happened... Let me tell you something. If that had happened, that I would have been arrested for, for probably breaking somebody's neck, okay? You guys would not have video footage of, of what occurred because I would have been taken away on their handcuffs, all right? And that person that contacted me asked for my phone number and my email address to forward the, the video. Uh, that, that would have never happened. Now, let me tell you something. You, you served your, your country admirably as a United States Marine. You were a combat Marine in, what, 2003, 2007 or so? Yeah, from 2003 to 2011, I, I served uh, four deployments, three tours to Iraq. All right. As a combat Marine, you served your country admirably. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> but in Lafayette Square, right across from the United States White House, you know, that you fought for, all those years, you served your country even more admirably in many respects by not getting into a fight because your point is well taken. What you did, your constraint and your, your stability has as a result put you on a platform to speak very loudly and clearly for American principles and for standing with Israel. Why You got balls, man. Let me tell you, why were you standing alone there for Israel? What was that all about? Well, here's the thing. My intention was not to go up there alone, okay? Uh, I listened on the radio that they were going to have a pro-Palestinian, pro-Gaza, pro-terrorist Hamas uh, protest in front of the White House. And I told myself that I was going to go and buy myself an Israeli flag. Okay, I've been wanting to. And I called down in Fredericksburg, there's a flag store, and they didn't have one there because they ran out. Okay, not a shock. So I called down to Richmond. They had one more flag. And went down to Richmond on Friday and got myself the flag. Now, before then, I had posted on my Facebook page and on uh, Uncle Sam Smith's Got a Children that I'm an admin at uh, that I'm going to Lafayette Square in front of the White House tomorrow. And I would like to be in solidarity with the people of Israel. We got to show the people of Israel that the United States. All right, it's not anti-Israel. Maybe the administration is, but not the people. Beautiful. Um, 
Uh, we do a lot of work on these uh, counter-jihad issues, and uh, um, our organization has um, gotten into situations, confrontations with these folks, and we maintain our composure as you did. And it's good to see a, a kindred spirit out there. You have a tremendous platform, as I said. I thank you for taking time to be with us. What is your message right now? I mean, a lot of people are listening to you. They want to know what makes this guy tick. He goes and puts his life on the line in battle. Then he stands among all these people, and uh, he has that kind of composure and, and strength of character. What is your message to other Americans out there at this critical moment in Western civilization as Israel is really fighting for its, uh, its existence? Let me tell you something, folks. When you hear the rhetoric of, of terrorist organizations such as Hamas, all right, in the south, and Hezbollah up north, even though they're Shia and one is Sunni, and then you got the Islamic Republic of Iran out there saying that, you know, from the river to the sea, Palestine must be free. And you keep hearing these chants over and over again. That Israel must be wiped off the map. That the Jews have to be driven from the sea to the sea. And, and, and by God, it urged me, all right, because, folks, I don't care what happened 3,000 years ago or 2,000 years ago or 70 years ago. Listen, Israel is a fact of life. All right, it is here to stay accepted. What happened to me over there on, on, on Saturday, all right, happens to Israel, all right, every day. Israel is surrounded by these Arab countries, okay, and it must defend itself, okay. Amongst Israel has the right to exist, it has the right to defend itself. How do Israelis feel secure when you got a neighbor to the south in Gaza, all right, that its rhetoric is, is to exterminate the Israelis? Okay, you can't feel secure. So what are you gonna do? You have to fight every time you start up. Okay, a couple of weeks ago I put a, a a post on my Facebook page with the Israeli flag flying, and I told people, look, I, I have not done this before, but if you're anti-Israel and you become a bigot using that that anti-Semitism, okay, and anti-Zionism and all that crap that you spew out of your mouth, I'm going to unfriend you. Okay, and it got over 160 likes, and my motivation after I saw you, I mean, it, it enraged me. But once that I saw, I, I thought that was an an opportunity for me to see for myself if these people are actually peaceful, if they are actually moderate. Let me tell you something, Tom. Okay, and Damon, I know that you experienced this out there in Miami. All right, if these people, given the chance, the opportunity, these 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 military age males. All right. The only thing missing, given given a different setting, Miami, not Miami or Washington, but put them in Gaza, okay, or in the front lines in Syria or northern Iraq. These people would be killing infidels, beheading people, okay. That's just how I see it. And I'll tell you something right now. I am I am an American. I am not a hypocrite, okay. I revere the Constitution of the United States, okay, and I respect all religions, okay. I'm a Christian myself, but my brothers are Muslims, my brothers are Jews, my brothers are Gentiles, okay, Buddhists, Hindus, whatever. I do not – you mess with my country, all right? You interfere in my country trying to bring Sharia law, all right? And my god, this country is going to hell, Tom. I know. I know. Hey, we, uh, we appreciate it and, and glad you had an opportunity to take a look at uh, – that show and Damon getting assaulted. We have filed charges and we're, we're pursuing that because, like you said, take these guys out of uh, the U.S. setting and, and they would be slitting throats. And we're, we can't do that. We're, we're a country, we're a rule of law country, exactly. and we've got to do exactly what you did. And it's so very difficult. And Look, you did brother, the right thing, and you really need to be commended for that. Brother, I, I know you got to go, but I got to tell you something. I am saddened that I was. I, I didn't expect to be persecuted or prosecuted for practicing my my dissent, okay? My opinion, all right? I got persecuted there, okay? In front of the White House, in our nation's capital, of all places, okay? Couple, who knows if the president was in the White House, okay? It is wrong, and it's time that American people stand up. Wake the hell up what's going on around you. Too much apathy in this country, and that's going to be our downfall. 
So it's crazy. All right, man. We really appreciate it. All right, Tom. Right, we're going to let appreciate you go now. It. We'll David, be in touch, okay? If we can help you with anything, let, it, let us know. Aye, aye. No right, problem. Take it easy.